Welcome back in guys for Echoes of the Eye DLC, DLC. We took a short break as I finished up Resident Evil 2 Remake, which actually might prove helpful considering you get a warning when you install this DLC that there could be terrifying things and you can actually lower that in the settings. I don't intend to lower it, okay? I have just been chased by tyrants, um, had multiple infected nom on me and also deal with the g virus so whatever we're gonna face in outer wilds can't be as terrifying right right granted if you guys saw my main playthrough and saw me with the angler fish it was a hoot and a holler and it actually kept me from finishing the main game for a little bit like i don't know if you guys realize this because for you guys like you just see it all in one lump piece but if you pay attention to like what clothes i'm wearing that's when you can tell when i'm recording on different days the final chapter for outer wilds doing everything with anglerfish the clenching moment of trying to make it to the eye after removing the core just i can't remember the last time that i have felt that um i don't know like intense or feeling like i had the weight of the world on my shoulders in a game because for me i felt like i really did have the weight of all of this knowledge if i had lost it there if i had not made it to the warp core i think my heart would have broken and so i do feel like i got the best ending i have looked at some of y'all's comments at this point i still was trying to avoid total spoilers for the dlc um but i do have an idea of how we can maybe uh add a little bit more to the ending of this one as well based off of some of the things that you guys said um i also saw that some people recommend doing this before you finish the base game and then other people have an argument for waiting like i have done for me just as a blanket rule i typically tend to finish the main game first just for i know a lot of people argue continuity but just for the sake of kind of experiencing it as i would have had it because the dlc would have came out later so while maybe down the line i'll do a playthrough where i intertwine both of them i felt like this was the best for me to experience it as the game was developed and created so that is why we're picking it back up post completion so uh i'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and assume that we need to go back somewhere on our planet on timber hearth to start the dlc i haven't really figured out how to start it so that's going to be an adventure in of its own but thank you guys for being here i hope you guys enjoy the dlc and what are we still doing in the intro come on let's go action right so i'm just gonna load my previous save file i don't think there's any need for doing a whole new adventure i hope not i guess we'll find out when we get into it pretty quickly it's so good to be back <gasps> And we begin again. So I'm assuming we're not going to see anything crazy different. Um, I think the main part that I can just... Actually, this would have been right before... Mm. This last save would have been the day before I went to go do the warp core? Or do you have a completely different... Mm. Hold on. Let's go check the ship first. I wonder if there's any new people or anything looks different post completion. Ship log, rumor. Okay. Yeah. Same sames as of right now. All right, I'm gonna take our original path down and head up to the museum. Cause I think if there's gonna be anything new, it'd be there. Does he say anything? Ready to take off? Oh my gosh, I can never- Oh! You know the ship is a death track. Look at this! You're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. <laughs> Wait! I want to tell him all of these things. And you're lucky I don't have a you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. I missed all this dialogue. <laughs> the autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. Had an exciting dream, did you? It's not exactly impossible for autopilot to get you too close to the sun, but it's not like it'll take you there on purpose. Make sure the sun isn't between you and your final destination when you engage in autopilot. I believe I fell victim to that once or twice. <laughs> I keep getting killed by ghost matter. 
Not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't. You dumb idiot. Oh, the double use, the dumb idiot. Did you think that I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple purposes. You know, coming back and talking to him about this would have helped me a ton. You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. I think we used it sometimes as that. Okay, maybe not all the time, but we did. Don't look at me like that. The sun is going supernova. Oh yeah, the observatory had an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfell's domain. Me, I'm here for rocket science and the marshmallows. Slate. So, yeah, after I started doing that, I really should have talked to him a little bit more because that would have given us... I think that would have helped me use the scout more. That would have helped me realize and identify that it was a supernova happening. I'd never experienced anything like that before. Mm! Okay. You have to like actively keep it above. Trees, Russ? Oh. The trees are swishing and swaying. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh. I missed this. It's just as, it has moments that are just as terrifying as Resident Evil, but it's just so different. I know that's like, uh, or comparing oranges and apples, but. I missed this. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. Let's see if there's any new conversation. I heard you and then beefed up the model I wanted to practice. Okay. The geyser pools, show me what you got. Nothing new with Micah. Wait a minute, has that always been there? That's always been there. I just wanna see if there's any new conversation with them. Oops. Does he say anything? I'm good actually, what are you up to? Okay. Nothing new, there probably wouldn't be, but. Rutile. Yeah. Nothing new, so I think we can move on. I remember reading all this stuff and not even knowing what it was for, and now like looking back and seeing all the instruments we've used. Marl trying to drop down the tree. <laughs> Meese. All right, let's go to the observatory. Oh, these two are reset too. But isn't my favorite troublemaker. No, nope, no. No hide and seek today. The guy fishing. It is true though, it's like every time I come in, the music can help bring you back into the magic that's this game, but nothing will ever be like that first time that I walked through here. Oh. Although somehow coming at it at a second glance, like a second time after, you know, being out of the world for a little bit, just, I feel like it looks different. The same, but. Everything feels a little bit greener. Everything I feel like I'm taking in almost, and I wish I had done this at the end of the base game, is just go back and look at Timber Hearth because we kept losing all of this, right? Like the, our solar system got wiped out and I'm glad I took the time I did at the beginning to really look at everything, but it was so cute too, with the birth of a new system at the end of it. And I never went up here either. What is these? This little cabin, look at this. There might be something in the water. This place they call home. Okay, so I think we're looking for any changes. 
Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. <laughs> right. This was Timberheart's first and only space program founded to reach and explore the furthest reaches of the solar system. Feldspar was the first Harthian to be initially launched, right? I think that was mostly it. Hal? I was just gonna come and find you. Look, look, look. You've got to see this. The Nomai's eyes are open. Okay, we have seen this. Uh, they used to be closed. Probably started with that. Now they're opened. Not sure why, since no one actually saw it. Okay, this is normal. An ancient species who dwelled in our solar system. That's it, too. Nothing new here. Hornfells. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen it happen, huh? <laughs> I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. <gasps> we can tell them I found Feldspar. Tell me more. I found him. You found Feldspar? And they're in the dark bramble? Stars above, this is wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you for finding them. That's new dialogue. See, this is why you go back and check everything. The Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Feldspar of them. I was asking about that. Remember that I said that? I was like, why did he not just hop on the ship? <laughs> We were never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. Still, we ought to fish them out of the dreadful place with all haste. I'll radio Gossen, and I'll have them prepare a ship. If really, it really should be Gossen who brings Feldspar home. Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear that they're alive and unharmed. Was there something else you needed? That's it. All right, maybe it's about the supernova. You! <laughs> Return of this. Stars like ours, and you know what's funny too is I read this at the beginning and I just never, <sighs> I just never would have thought that it went into supernova even after looking at this. And this is something that I think is, I don't know if you guys go through this because I, I don't think it's unique to the fact that I'm recording or when I'm streaming. I mean, I understand missing things when I'm streaming because I'm extremely chat focused and things. But when I'm recording a YouTube video, it really does feel like it's just me and myself playing this game. And then I try to even like zone out and not even think about y'all being here, except that, you know, I am trying to make sure that I'm kind of letting you guys know my thoughts and feelings, right? However, or I get all of a sudden conscious that you guys are here when I mess up or do something that is ridiculous. But it still astounds me how much I can look at something, I can read it, I can see it, and yet I don't piece it together. Like my brain reads it and it, it's not like it, it's not like it's purposely going in one ear and right out the other. I'm not trying to be, you know, just, I don't know, uh, disrespectful to the game in any sort of way. I think that when you first start a game, when you're taking on a game for your first playthrough, I find this specific with first playthroughs, you're ingesting so much new information, you're trying to predict theories for yourself, and it's so easy for things to fall to the wayside or to forget something crucial like this. I should have known it was a supernova all along. All right, that's all normal. Oh, you. You. Vicious. Okay, this is all normal. Our little scout, the no mind technology from the space. The little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows people to, yeah. I see, and I never even tied together that it was using warp retrieval capabilities from the no mind. That's amazing. And then the no mind skeletons. The antlers, yeah. It's not clear where they originated from. That, can I now read that maybe? Are essential in depicting their language. No, my text branches off of a central point, but there's nothing that I can do to read that. This was the, um, the far reaches, right? This is what would have told me about the deep space's satellite. such a goob. The balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level. Spooky. 
It must be up here. There must be another way. Is it this? Well, yeah, because... I don't know, he, he used to be here, right? Ryback was here. And now he's gone. Hornfell, or Hornfell. Hornfell's observations. At first I thought all the points on this image, but they're galaxies, and this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky. I need to sit down. According to the redshift calculations, every single galaxy in the image is moving away from us. In fact, the further away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's expanding. Was everything closer in the past? That's same, same. And this is the map. But I don't feel like I'm seeing anything new. Hmm, except for stars exploding in the distance. Huh. And then the deep sports or sports in <laughs> the deep space orbit. Hmm. All right. What have I not interacted with? What's new? What would be new? I mean, Whoa. This, but we knew that. Ah! That's normal. The images. Oh, wow. That, um, that was even showing you about how this connects to, oh gosh. That's not for it, right? Like, we're not using the one on Timber Hearth, are we? The anglerfish is the same, same. This says new exhibit. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive, but this was new. These are the photos made by possible, wait, made possible by the deep space satellites. Unusual vertical orbit high and above the plane of solar systems. Thanks to recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. So it's new, but that's not new to us. That, that was always there. The strange rock moves around. Oh, wait, do we use him to go somewhere? Is he going to a separate? <laughs> No, but there's no way for me to get on top of him, nor to... You know how, like, you can normally move with him? There's no way for me to get on top of him, unless... Or also to turn out the lights, though. Is it this? No? As they get hotter, and the core gets hot enough, and then when it's massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into heavier elements. The star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode, calling it, yep. This will one day be the fate of our own sun. Sooner than you realize. It's really hard because if you don't remember what it was like at the very beginning, how would you know the new things? Watch closely, the balls are moving on their own. The ground is perfectly level. The answer is the moon. The moon. Was it this? Aside from the dwellings and structures, no. Pottery. Our little guy. We saw him. I guess I didn't technically read this. It seems to create a local gravity distortion. And then we have our guy over there. Is it with the statue itself? Look at me. Take me to the Echo. <laughs> Is there another part of this that I'm missing? Launch tower. It says new exhibit. Should we go out to deep space? 
I mean, I hardly think that'd be for- Oh! Do we go to the tower, maybe? Maybe we go to that little structure. I mean, that's pretty much the only thing I could think of. Or going over there. Right? Because there's nothing up here. Just want to double, triple, quadruple check. But yeah, I think I... <sighs> I was expecting it to be more obvious. Right, well, let's go find that little tower. Mm. I'm trying to remember if that was here at the beginning. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, in order to do this, let's hop on in our launch tower. And we're going to get in our suit and maybe just fly around using the suit technology instead. Or the jetpack. Oh, the logging. My nose. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have waited till after I had played it. I guess it's only been, I think it's only been about two weeks, but still. You know my goldfish brain is starting to happen. It also looks really green. Wait a minute. Have these always been so close? Like, is it just me or are this? No, I mean, I guess Bramble's out there. Trying to make a mountain out of molehills. I'm grasping at straws. I think we're also going to be, yeah, it's nighttime, which means we're gonna be getting, ah! Oh, okay, I forgot about this system. <laughs> there we go. The launcher. Would it have been faster to use the ship? Absolutely, but I think there were things I missed on Timber Hearth. We're looking for... Did I ever go to the North Pole? We're looking for... Whee! Okay. This is where the Bramble Seed was launched. Which I guess it doesn't really matter too, too much if we help them out at this point in time. Considering. It's looking especially close to Supernova. I guess if you had read about what happens pre-Supernova, we would have been able to tell that it was getting kind of close, right? Yeah, the gravity is not kind here. It's not the same way as some of the other spots that we go to. I should have gone ship. Ugh. The grove is over to our left. I know, 50% fuel. Snow. Snow in Timber Heart? Oh, snap. Okay, right, right, right. We did land inside of that. Because that's where we found the Nomai stuff. But where is this structure? There's the grove. Ah! Oh, no. I remember that first supernova. I think nobody forgets their first ah! supernova, you know? <laughs> that was funny. I think I'm already back. Because my ship won't, no. I guess we should get back on our ship first, but... That tower is... That's the grove. That tower is indicating that there is... A deep space system, but I don't think it's by the town. I feel like it's got to be somewhere on its own, but hold on. We'll take the ship to be safe. Hmm. Oh gosh. Terrified me. But maybe we should reset the day anyway. Radio, here we go. To the ship. 
Okay, let's land in her. Just do a quick little up and over. Okay, so we are looking for an antenna. Sometimes you want to go on foot, okay? So let's scour this way. This is where our bramble seed is, so that means we are completely north. What if that crashed and landed on the antenna? Like where the antenna is? The geyser that we landed on. There is the no my structure. Right. There. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we should have taken the ship all along. Don't start with me. Wait, I'm... Mm, no, it's fine. It's like, I'm gonna get up a little closer. Oh, well, let's uh, refuel first, too. Unidentified signal. This is it. This is it. Holy cow. Okay, yeah. That was the new thing. And I know it said new exhibit, but I do just want to say that I remember... Oh, because at the base game it said new exhibit coming. Right. Right, of course. Yeah, it did not help me by waiting a little bit. <gasps> Satellite angle. Okay. <gasps> and we're recording. <clears throat> It's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Venture has... Ah, they're, they're printing. They're printing! Here they come! Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow, and look, look, there! That's Hollow's Lantern, and there's Giant's Deep, and that's the Quantum Moon! I'm speechless, completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle in each of these three photos. And in color, no less. Now, in color, it reminds me of old uh, movies. Now, this is art. I could stare at these photos for forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is that it doesn't show up on any of the other photos, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Wait! Oh, there he is. Okay, that's Gabbro. Right. What is, what, what is, what is unnatural? Timber Hearth. All it made me think was police squad in color. Um, we see what is what's different. Brittle. There's the twins. What is that? Is it that little core? It's that little white thing, right? Yeah, so there's nothing here. It's not on there. Maybe. Yeah. It's gotta be that. The quantum moon is by it, or by something different. So maybe we need to go to Gabbro next? Whoa. We're going supernova soon. So I think we need to go to Gabbro then. Radio tower. Signal identified radio tower. There we go. That was a frequency that we never captured. All right. Hmm. All right, so two thoughts. One, we go back to, whoa. <gasps> Wait a minute. This reminds me of the ending. Oh, Wait. Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, a watch satellite never transmits data. 
<laughs> That's a little joke for you, journal. No one, no one says that. Someday I'll have the study, the mech, uh, the mechanics of how time manages to slow to syrupy crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, our resident expert in leisurely whiling away the hours, who recommends the following. Gabbro's three foolproof steps of for dozing off. Light a nice cozy campfire and get comfortable. Gaze deeply into the serene warmth. Let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I had taken these notes, they'd probably have finally cracked, but I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. Some people like burnt marshmallows. I'm not one of them, but like, I do know some people. I know a few. So I guess I should just doze off. I'm gonna let as much time pass as it will allow me to. It forced me awake. But the photos were already developed. Yeah, so we need to go to Gabbro. Yeah, we need to officially go to Gabbro. That was really cute, though. Timber Hearth, Giant's Deep Bramble. How did I... Well, that wouldn't have been here, so that's how I missed it. That was only made available once I downloaded the DLC. There it is. Radio Tower. A radio tower designed to receive photos taken by the deep space satellite. There are several photos of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfels noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. Uh, I wonder if the day still explodes when you've started the DLC. <laughs> well, there you go. Boom. Let's reset and then go to Hornfells and then go to Gabbro. <laughs> Just like that. It do be like that. And just like Gabbro, we're burnt to a crisp. Well, but not Gabbro, but Gabbro's marshmallows. Uh, <laughs> that was also on me for taking so dang long to realize what our next path was. In my defense, it's been a little bit. I also was excited to see if they added any new stuff to the... Uh, to any of the other parts, though. And I hadn't gone back to the museum since the base game, so it was kind of cool to see. Like, when I took my slow time with the museum in episode one, I had no idea. Like, I was reading all of these things. I had no idea how important and relevant every single piece of that was. Mm. This is going to be awesome, though. So I'm going to actually just pop into our suit. That way we can just do a little zipperoo. Whee! To Hornfells first. Oh! I must sound like one of those crazy young whippersnappers with all of my... The world's ending. Hornfells, I need to talk to you. Hey, look at that. Okay, we saw that. We saw that. Interesting. Okay, so we cannot talk to him. So, it's now up to Gabbro to tell us what we're looking at here. Is it just me or does it seem particularly dark? That'll buff out. Pay no mind. Okay, get 
this back. I'm butchering this DLC already in every way possible, and I'm not meaning to. I'm trying to respect the game, I am. Ah! This is because I'm recording so early in the morning. My brain is not. I warned you guys about this. I should have waited till it was like a little bit. Like, I'm a morning person. Don't get me wrong, guys. I am a morning person. I like to be up at like 4.35, 5.30. But sometimes you should be awake for like an hour or maybe two before you start to do things. All right, so Giant's Deep. But it doesn't, well, oddly enough, it actually doesn't. It's that, it's gotta be that little thing. Just feel like the whole solar system feels different. It looks more colorful somehow. Like things are more well lit or something. Giant Steve, where are you at? Oh. Oh. Engage autopilot. So I know you guys kept saying I was not using autopilot right. And I'm tracking, like, I know that it can take you all the way in. And then you can land just naturally. But I just liked free landing. I don't know. There's something nicer about just going in on your own. It's a little bit more chaotic, I will admit. But... Ah! Also... Wait a minute. Did we never explore this ourselves, either? Like, in the base game... I don't think we... Oh, is this gonna come scoop us up? Hold on. Let's stay in. Yep, wait. Oh, oh. We're going up and... Take me up to the spirit in the sky. All right, I'm going to, this actually might cause some damage to the ship, but I'm gonna keep us landed. We're coming back down. Firing retro rockets. Press down, press down, press down. Hold. Okay. Now there might be another one, so be prepared. Wait, wait, water's filling up, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Okay, let me see where I'm at. Ah! Oh my gosh! What is going on here? Oh, look at that. Oh, there is so much stuff to explore there. Alright, this is a bit of a mess right now. <laughs> there it is, there it is. There's my landing. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's because I've already done, like, there's something that I'm allowing myself to kind of be more relaxed about it and goofy, I suppose. Take me up to the spirit in the sky. Hmm. All right, that is hazardous, but maybe this side? That side's fine. So we can't go directly, but we can go this way. We should be able to go here. Yep. Oh! I forgot about my rockets. Hold on. Ah! Get me out of the water! Get me out of the water! Get me out of the water! I've done messed up. I've messed up. i messed up. Get me up! <laughs> Scoop me up. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go over here to this island and then... Go over. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Get up. Okay. Ah, oh, snap. Wait, 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 wait. Why is... The rocket is just not... Yeah, this is my... My gravity is just shot here. Hold on. I have to get back to my ship, but I don't even know if that's going to be possible. If I can get up high enough, I might be able to. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, I see it. I see where I can get up. Okay. I was so close to going there. There we go. I was wondering how we... Hmm. Still trying to clean up pieces from before. Let me just refuel and get my health back. 
Again, strong starts. I can't believe I missed this. So, I don't, I don't even know if I can make that, even with a boost and everything. Okay, 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 we're good. And no more ghost powder. Look at this. All right, we need to jump over there. Can we get up here? Whoa, trees. Oxygen detected. That's the no-go. All right, no fly zone. Okay, not good. Hazardous in the middle. Hazardous to the right. Left side fine. Once you find out that there's okay ghost matter, all right, that's hazardous. Stay left. It changes everything. <gasps> there's a recording. T uh, trip four, entry number whatever, crashes two, boring crashes zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. Ha, yes, yes. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steep. You just got feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, uh, I can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gossen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. As we've seen in some of my playthroughs, sometimes it is though. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is a big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. And we're gonna light this. We're gonna refuel this. Wow. I never knew. I never knew. Right, yo, let's head back to the ship. I'm actually just gonna go through here because I'll be faster. Minus being in the water that I hate, but that's fine. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. At least there's not things in the water. Okay, so I, this whole time I really thought that I had discovered everything, but no, look at that. Bramble Island, an island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. What I wanna see at the end of this is I wanna look up what the complete map looks like and what I have, because I'm sure there are other pieces. Like there's gotta be Dark Bramble in other locations, right? Not just ours. There's gotta be. All right, I'm refueling and we're headed to Gabro. It's probably this way. Oh yeah, I forgot about my, ooh, I gotta repair my exit. All right, that is our, no my, that is the sculpture where they make all of the sculptures. There you are. I see your little campfire. Hmm? Whoa, there was ghost matter here too. That I never went through. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess there were a ton of things that I probably learned on the way that never saw because I, oh my goodness. Although that's pretty hazardous, so we might not want to go there, period. That might not be the answer. Yeah. I think it's pretty fine. I think we're fine. Maybe that just never was the right way <laughs> to go. I wish there was something we could have done to make the ghost matter not impact us the same way. Although, oddly enough, it doesn't become hazardous till... Like, you can actually tiptoe into it. Maybe that's one of the parts that... Like, maybe this is where you're supposed to realize. I don't know. Yeah, bro, I have a couple words with you. You... Is that... It looks like spoons are connected to his head. Hey, time pal. Nice weather we're having, huh? <laughs> have I used that before? Here we go, I found something. How do you come? Where's your ship? What's up with this planet? 
I found something. I found a photo of you inside the old radio tower. Nice. Did I look busy in it? I hope I looked busy. Must have been from the time Hornfell sent me to check on the deep space satellite. They thought old Spacey might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how I got a shot of my beautiful bee-helmeted face. Come to think of it, I always thought it was kind of sweet that the best way to find old Spacey is to use the map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like it's inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite. Always making sure we know where we're going. Old Spacey? I mean, the satellite's not super old, but it's hardly brand new. Old is more of a term of affection. You're being very literal-minded about this. I actually, yeah, I'll apply old. Old Spacey likes visitors, you know? Fastest way to find it is to jump into your ship and use the solar system map to lock onto our faithful satellite friend. Same as you would with any astral body. Okay, but hold on. I want to talk about this more. Must have been the time that he sent me. I have a map. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of the standard things with your spacesuits. The one you have with you at all times. Don't look at me like that. The one that you open with the press of a button, that's a map. You didn't get conked on the head by a rock or a meteorite or something on your way here, did you? No shame in that. It happens to me all the time. In case you were hit especially hard, don't forget that you can jump into your ship and use your old solar system map to lock onto any astral body. It's the easiest way to visit Old Spacey. I feel like I did that once, though, right? Did I really never do that? Why'd Hornfels think it was broken? I don't know. Hornfels probably told me why, but Hornfels tells me a lot of things, and sometimes I tune out. Or pretend there's signal interference and I can't hear them. Best guess says the deep space satellite must have been, or must have sent Timber Harsh some weird pictures. But like, what's considered weird for a satellite, you know? Anyway, if you ever want to visit old Spacey, fastest ways to jump into your ship and da 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 da. Okay, well, let's go visit old Spacey then. You know what? I did know this, right? Didn't I? Where is old Spacey? All right, I see old Spacey. No, but like, oh, do you have to zoom in really close first? There, this, whoa. This cannot be how you're supposed to track them. I've been doing the right thing. It's not from doing that, right? Right? Should roast a marshmallow in honor of him, but he'll buff out. All right, let's repair our landing gear real quick. Restore here. Let's see if we got new information. No. Nothing new, but maybe going to Old Spacey. I mean, if we retrace these steps. Retracing these steps should prove fruitful. Right. Let's test this out. Maybe you can only do it when you're... Yep, you can only do it when you're actually inside of the... Ah. Lock on. I think it's taking me. Yeah, you lock on and then you engage autopilot. Do, 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 do. Learning things even in the DLC. Actually learning a lot. Dark Bramble, you fickle foe. <sighs> Hopefully we don't have to do anything with Dark Bramble again. I can't help but feel like we are going to have to still end the game, right? Like there's going to be an end to the DLC. Just tell me you can get to the ending without having to deal with... Really? Already applying retro rockets without dealing with the anglerfish. I did go out to the deep space station. You know, I did have a thought. Did I never see it before because... Like, I'm wondering if I never saw it before because... Whoa, whoa, we're coming in hot. Whoa. 
I'm wondering if I never saw it before because I didn't have the DLC installed originally. So maybe you didn't see the deep, the deep space station just quite yet. We did, we found this recording, no? But I didn't know what to do with it at the time. Oh, I hate this feeling out here. I hate this, I hate this. Gabbro here, checking in on the deep space station. Per ground control's request to check out possible equipment problem. See, Hornfells, I do too work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here among the distant stars and the soft, velvety darkness. Bet it's, mm, yeah, awfully nice for naps too. Oh, right, the lens. All right, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Huh, everything looks A-OK, -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the great work out here. Well, that's that. Your lens is picking something up, hey? And we have this frequency. The deep space station. Yeah. Deep space radio is doing his thing. Where's my ship? Okay. So do we go back to... Maybe we need to go back and relook at those images. I wonder if this... N uh, didn't say ship log updated, did it? No. Hornfells noticed something strange. Perhaps there's something made available to us from looking at it. We're gonna have to go to Timber Hearth. You know what I mean? Like, it's gotta be this... Don't you think it's this thing that's crossed off? I still don't know what that is. Okay, we're autopiloting to Timber Hearth. I'm pretty sure we should probably rotate in the right direction. There we go. Yeah. We're gonna head back to Timber Hearth and go back and look at the images because I wasn't even picking up what was wrong with them. Although the day might reset. It's been probably around 22 minutes. I thought Gabriel would prove more fruitful with his information. Unless there's another radio, maybe we need to go by frequency. Like, maybe we pick up a frequency somewhere else. Timber Hearth looks really beautiful from afar. Okay, coming in for a landing. This is a cool way to go about it, but I still... I feel like I haven't done that poor of a job. And then look, you can see the little ship coming down on the planet. Look at that. I actually did never realize that. The like barometer almost. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I guess all I have to do is... uh go my signal scope and then I should be able to find where- whoa! That's the dark moon, right? No, that's Addle Rock. Silly me. There it is. Alright, radio tower coming in hot. We just have to follow the water. Okay, so let's look at these images again. Uh, ma'am? All right, Adel Rock's looking beautiful. There's something we're missing. So we went to Gabro. So this is satellite angle 248. Maybe if we line up our angle with the angle that it sees this, whatever the anomaly is, if we line up ourselves with the angle, then perhaps we'll be able to see what he saw too. 
Okay, so this is normal. I, I don't see anything different here. Let me just... They're printing. They thought it looked like Timber Hearth. Hold on, what's that? That can't be right. I mean, that's not even possible. What's even stranger is it doesn't show up on either of the photos, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Would it not be that thing? Okay, we've got... That's the Dark Moon's by... Yes, it is that. It's got to be that. Wait, no. That would be Timber Hearth. And it's showing there's a second dark moon, though. No, that's Adel Rock. No, it's not in this image either. Yeah, because there's the twins. There's deep. There's the moon. The interloper. Are they referring to the interloper? No, the interloper is on this one, too. Now, this image shows. At the tr uh, at the angle that this is, we don't have Timber Hearth and an adult rock in sight because it would have been behind the sun, I think. No, 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 it's down there. No, no, no. Wait, yes. Yes. And then... So it's not that. It's this one. No. Gabra is there. Maybe I'm just... internalizing these wrongs with the... The sun's about to explode. I see outer rock and I see our moon right there. I see outer I see outer rock and timber hearth. I guess it's that. I guess it would be that circle. But would that not be the dark moon? No, because the dark moon's right there. So it is that, which is at angle 40. At angle 40. Right? Because there's no other planets that are in the way. We are fully seen interloper, twins, dark moon by the twins. Uh, Giant's Deep. There's Timber Hearth. There is, yeah, that's that's it. That's that. That now that is Timber Hearth and and Adel Rock. Yeah. All right, satellite angle forty. So we need to get back. We need to get back out there to angle forty. But the day will be resetting here soon. Well, just as a reminder too, I think we've got two forty eight. 350 and 40. Yes, angle 40. So we need to line up angle 40 with that. It's going to be a mess and a half. I think the sun's going to explode. I don't know if this is worth it. Is that them launching? You know, I never noticed this, but is that them launching a... That's launching the signal catcher, right? I'm going to chase it now. Just because we can mess around a little bit. Isn't it? Isn't that a one of our... Yeah, that's one of our scouts. That's what that is. Ah. Wait a minute. What is that? Ember twin. Okay. I guess I should just try to make it out there. I hate doing this, but it's like once enough time has passed, you're like, I know the sun's gonna burst. Just do it. The sun is gonna burst. Just do it. So I don't have to do this again. So even though we see the image, we don't see it on this, but we've got to get out to that deep space. Wait a minute. What is that? Oh, that's uh oh, that's the stuff by White, White Hole Station, right? Right, the stuff that comes through. Okay. Sun, if you wouldn't mind doing your thing. Um, okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom and we'll let this day pass and um, and then I'll be right back, okay? All right, 40 degrees. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and throw our space suit on. We're going to do this. There we go. All right, we're, oh. <laughs> Should be working now. And then we want to get out of the atmosphere and then engage autopilot. Perfect. So I guess I'm gonna have to, I don't know, if I look and I see it on my map, will I be able to go to it? Oh. 
I want to see something here. Would this not indicate at what point we have to be? Like, if you're looking at this from a circle, this would be 90 or 180. So 40 would be when it gets a little bit higher, right? I don't know. Whoa! Okay, it was like we are flying towards it. All right, match that velocity. Okay, we're gonna get this pretty close to it and then we're just gonna hold. So, the only thing that I can think of is while this is going, that's how we're going to determine when we see it. Maybe. Right, so let me get up here. So that's where the lens is, right? So we need to wait for it to say 40 degrees. So we're getting close, actually. Let me get up close to it. And then we'll just look over. I wonder if it's possible. I guess I should be in my ship. And I should be able to see it from the ship. Because as soon as we see it, we're going to want to go to it. Because we're not going to want to miss this opportunity. Because it's not negative 40, it's at 40 degrees. So, we know it's going to come up here soon. Let me get into proper position. Where I can see it. Oh, There we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. 27? 28. Okay. Ah! Oh, here we go. Wait. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Going in. Wait. Velocity match. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, it should be at 40 here soon. There! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Can I do it yet? I see it! I see it! Oh my goodness. But I don't know if I'll be able to... Do I need to start heading towards it? No, that's the sun. Go! Go! I don't know, we're gonna lose it. Oh my gosh. What? What? Okay. I need headlights on. What? No, the music already. This is a big fad. No. Oh my gosh. I'm... There. What the hell? I know you guys are like rolling right now at how I'm doing this. I do not want to exit this. Oh. It doesn't even know where I am. I, I don't even know where I am. I don't... What? <gasps> this is like a hangar. Yeah, this is 100% like a space hangar. This is what their ships looked like. But this is a Nomai. This is definitely a whole nother culture. I mean, look at the structural, uh, just everything. It's, this is completely different. 
Oh my goodness. We don't have any frequencies. Yeah. This is something completely different. <gasps> wow. Wow. I wonder, I'm assuming that the 22 minutes doesn't, does it impact us in here? This is so cool. <gasps> Unknown language. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need to find something to be able to translate. Um, whoa. Hold on, flash. It responds to light. <gasps> what? I don't know if we want to do this, guys. This is a elevator. No. What? This moves us in a certain direction. This is how we move. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like we're discovering Atlantis or something. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh my goodness. This might be the coolest thing ever. <laughs> oh. How? Where? Is it? The... We need to find. Okay, so maybe we will be able to read if we. If we. What's the gravity like? All right, not bad. Ship log updated. Pick up lantern! Maybe I'm supposed to. Okay, drop lantern. I wonder, it says maybe there's bugs or maybe there's creepy crawlies or something that makes it terrifying. I mean, I will admit the music just alone was horrifying, but... <sighs> wow. Can we see our solar system? Yeah! We can. Is there stuff in the water? That's what I'm afraid of most. Okay, so these, this culture, they were massive. Look at this, look at this table. Look at this little chess set. It's almost that they're, it's much more like antler based. Maybe this is like the Nomai's. I don't know, maybe it was even the Nomai's ancestors or something. I mean, cause we're still dealing with antlers of some sort. It's like a chess board game. I will say their their infrastructure is completely different. It's giving more like woodland fairy, even their rugs, like the colors, it's greens, it's browns, it's that wood texture. And the gnome I had almost like a, um, I think we're gonna do something with all these lanterns. Yeah, the gnome I had this sort of deserty feel to them, right? Desert nomads, whereas this is like woodland creatures. It looks like an owl combined with a deer of some sort. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> Swamps. This is beautiful. Look at the chairs! I want some of these chairs for my house. Are you kidding me? I want these for my home. I bet you we have the same amount of time, though, so we might lose a clock. Like a sundial of some sort. They were so regal in a way. Look at this. A father and a son. Boy. Boy. So many. This must have been a house. Wait. It keeps putting something on there. Maybe if I grab a lantern of some sort. Okay, so hold on, let me grab a lantern. I hope this isn't impacted by the 22, but it is still in our solar system. Therefore, I think it would mean that. 
I feel like it would. We we are gonna get reset. I'd find it hard to believe that we're, you know. Okay, that could work. Oh, but now nothing's showing up. Whereas if we remove the lantern. Oh. Now light's going through. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Reverse and forward. Okay, so maybe it's because the lantern's broken that this one doesn't work. So if we find a lantern that's working... Tools, weapons, weapons of some sort. Yeah, I think, look at the, is that like a dam? <gasps> Remove slide reel. <gasps> oh my gosh, I, I had one of the, I, you know the little tiny ones? Okay. You know those like really tiny guys? Huh. All right, I'm gonna set this down. Um, the door just opened. That's how their door works. What? But I can't see anything yet. We still need to get like a, a lantern that actually could work or something. We need to get a light source in there that will provide. Wait. Something about the eye of the universe. Look at that. They were this culture. Do you think this culture was using the eye to communicate? Possibly. All right, we found one slide reel. I don't like how dark it is. It feels ominous. I'm not liking this. This must have been some kind of library. This is where they saw all of their projections. This is almost like a movie theater for them. Already holding a slide. All right, let me drop this slide. Pick up this slide. Ah. And then, oh, but see, see, I need, um, see, I need light in one of these because as soon as I have a lantern that can work, I can go rotate it. But as of right now, I can't rotate it because we don't have a working lantern. We need, okay, let's go over there. Yeah, I see a working lantern over there. The projection room. What if they were harnessing the eye to communicate? Like, what if they were, maybe they were in trouble or something? The water doesn't look... <laughs> Gosh. Ah! There might be something in the water. If there's something in the water, I can't do this. I'm not gonna be able to do this if there's something in the water. I, I, I can't, I cannot do this if there's something in the water, guys. I don't like this, hold on, I don't like this. Oh. Ooh, I'm really not good with water. I know you guys think this is your, oh no. I feel like we should reset the day. Is there stuff in the water? I just need to know. Okay, now it's going back down. I... Uh, it's going back down. Slowly. What the hell? Oh, because as it rotates, I would assume as it rotates, but I, okay, the, on the bright side, I don't think there's anything in the water. I still don't like that. I, st I really don't like that. But surely that's not the reduced scares. It's rising again? No, it's not. So it is like the dam breaks or something. Okay. I, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate water. <laughs> I hate water. I just hate water in games because I don't know what's down below and... I feel like I'm seeing things. It's not like the anglerfish, it's different. Alright, I'm, I'm moving on, I'm over it. So, that's a lantern that's working. But the projection pool is closed now. Fishing. There were like these... Quiet, woodland, peaceful. In front of this... 
Oh, and now this one's further away. Why is this one further away? Hmm. Then they use the boat to go across. We need a boat of some sort. Because otherwise we're kind of stuck here. Although I guess we can go this way. See, I just feel like... I feel like there's a lot going on here. Alright, so we're going to want to explore everything as much as possible. Oh. I know that was such an overreaction. I just... <laughs> I think what kind of freaked me out more than anything is is that unknown. Like as far as we know, we've been told that we've been told that they can reduce scares somehow. So that tells me there is something terrifying here, but it could just be the water. Like it really could just be the water, I think, because if you go to options, reduced frights. Make certain frightening sequences easier to navigate. You know what I mean? Like frightening sequences could be different for any person. This is so cool, though. Look at that. We need to head over there. We need to somehow capture light in this. Okay, we're not in a bad spot by any means. I would have liked to have more time. Ah! No. Well, I guess we're gonna discover if there's water creatures now. I might as well just, like, swim through, get my fear over with the water, and then we can move on and be be calm about it you know like if there is something under there at least we just figure it out because they did say that you did you see there was fishing there was fishing on those images so that would tell me that there's something like at least something i do really like this area though this is so cool the swampiness the plants so I wonder at what time the dam breaks. Like, there should be ghost matter. There's ghost matter. Yeah, like, there should be an indication as to exactly... You know what? I did think about this. We could just... Oh, but my scalp doesn't do a good job at photos. Like, it does a good job at photos, but it's not going to be able to... Hmm... All right, we're gonna remove that. We've got our lantern. I think we should get across to the other side. There's just not a whole lot to explore right here. So we probably just need to swim around or jump across to the other side. Ow! Ooh. Okay, so we're you, oh no, I did this again. I did this again, I did this again. It's the noise underneath the water. Why is it so creepy and menacing? Well, I guess I could go that way. I guess we need to... Oh, you know what? Okay, we're going over here. There we go. Stay. It is like a game of lava, you know? No, I think we're fine. I don't think there's anything down there. I bet you what the reduced frights might be is maybe like white water rafting because if you think about it there is a little bit of like water rafting taking place here but we're also gonna need to get fuel here soon mm. mm hmm but the water has broken and so that is maybe our time what the heck that must be our time crunch is if we want to oh I can't uh, I might be able to. Oh, look. Okay, this should put us in the water. Okay, we're floating now. We're just gonna follow this stuff. Yeah. Different music. The music is so much... <laughs> the music. All ahead. Oh. All aboard. Let's go over there to that tower. It is white water rafting, literally. I'm getting over my fear of the water. Wait, all aboard this way. This way. 
This way. Uh, wait, that's falling. Oh no! I was gonna go to that structure. The structures are filling up. Whoa. Let's jump here. Oh my goodness. Uh, quick translator, but I don't have it. We need to somehow be able to translate the language. This is gonna fill up. This is gonna be the next to go. Surely this is gonna be the next to go. Uh, refuel jetpack. Th this is, these are tanks? Look at their jetpack tanks. They have a whole, this is the eye symbol is their culture. It's theirs. Okay, I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it. We need to somehow figure out how we figure out their language. Where's my, um, I think my boat's gone. Okay, my boat's gone. Let's go to this one. <laughs> Maybe we should head over here. Oh, look, there, 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 there. Go backwards. So yeah, some of the structures are gonna be a race against time with the water, but some of them will be fine. The only problem is once I jump on that, should we even jump there? Because if I do, well, I guess we're gonna have to explore everything at some point. But I'm gonna lose my little, yeah, I'm gonna lose, but I can keep the pole. But there's gonna be more that float on, so we can use the ones that float on. Yeah, we can, we can leave it there. <gasps> another, um, another projection area. That was terrifying. Okay, let's just make it very clear. It's just another projection area. Oh, but there's something down here. Water, scrolls. Wait, what? What? So we do have it, but it's not the same thing. So we're not getting the same, um... Oh, oh this is gonna be good. This is gonna be so good. Yeah, we're not getting that same... Uh... Oh my goodness, why am I blanking on it? You know what I'm talking about. Supernova. We're not getting the supernova, but I think that is still 22 minutes. <laughs> oh, I see Ginger. Wow. Okay, wait, let's go check the ship log. Hey. Yeah. No, I was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you visited before. It's a brilliant feature if I do say so myself. Dead useful and at the risk it poses for shortening of out of the fuel regulator and causing the ship to explode. It's so minimal that only Gossen would. <laughs> so how do I use it? When you're on the ship, open its log to the location you want to mark. Anywhere is fine as long as you've been there at least once. Hop in the pilot seat and the ship will throw up a destination marker on the display. Wow, Slate, how do you come up with these incredible ideas? Oh, I do the best I can with what I've got. Really, you're too kind. Uh-huh. That's not what my voice sounds like. Everyone's a critic. Anyways, I've got a fire to enjoy and you've got launch codes to grab. Go wild and marking feature, wait, wait, with the marking feature while you're out there. Just uh, try not to follow it so directly you fly into the sun, okay? Okay. Um, nice. So we don't have to do the same strategy anymore. I know, Ginger's like it's breakfast time. Okay. Holy cow. <laughs> River lowlands, cinder isles. <gasps> A massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or no, uh, yeah, Nomean culture. River Lowlands, a low-lying region near the entrance to the Stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. There's more to explore here. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. I found a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe inside a burned out building. There's more to explore here. Oh, I mean, look, the Stranger. 
Holy cow. River Lowlands, there's so many things to explore. So let's just test this out. So we open up this. But I'm not seeing the stranger. But I've been there. Oh, it wouldn't be in here. It would be over here. So I go here and I mark this. Now it's on the HUD. Now we go back over here. Now we go here. And the stranger is somewhere up here. <gasps> that's so cool. Okay. All right. That's amazing. Ah! <laughs> I know this is going to be a little bit shorter of a... Of a session but i think this is a good stopping point we just discovered it it took us a little bit to get there i know i'm taking my my time that's for sure but i just want to be thorough about this and i had a little minor panic with the water i just i'm i'm not scared of water like it's not well i just don't like it's very confusing i don't know how to describe it i think i just have a massive amount of discomfort in water because it's the unknown much like space i mean you guys saw me panic in bramble and we knew that they were anglerfish out there right with this i don't know what's down there and i think that's what's terrifying is there could be any sorts of things in the water and so i don't i don't want to turn down the frightening scare at all but in my head i'm like sharks 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 i know that there's got to be some kind of fish or something because we even saw images of them trying to fish but maybe they're not as terrifying as we're thinking so the whole nature of navigating water to begin with, though, is a little, it's just uncomfortable because you're also going to get swept up in rapids and the, I was not expecting the whole structure to come falling down. But there are highlands, so I know we've seen the lowlands. We're probably going to explore the highlands. We've got other parts to it. There's just so much to explore and I don't want to rush it and I don't want to, um, I think now that I know what the terrifying thing kind of is at least i have an idea of what it is is something to probably do with the water sequences i feel like i can kind of like brave it come in with a new i'm gonna relax come at it with a new perspective in the next video and not freak out so much plus i need to make the most of the time that we have but now that we're able to get to the stranger as soon as we start the day we might have more time in those little lands before the dam explodes of some sort so oh and we're gonna have to explore the dam too oh yeah there's so many different that like we also need to find the language. So we need to find something to be able to help us translate the language. And I don't think we're gonna be using our technology here. It's gotta be something on the stranger that enables us to be able to read their language. So, ah, oh, this is so cool. We now know how to navigate there. We know how to get back there easy. We know what's going on roughly, roughly. Um, and then, yeah, so I think, I, I think they had to have been using the eye as a form of communication and the Nomai were secretly chasing the stranger the whole time and they had no idea no idea oh this is gonna be so good okay i hope you guys enjoy this enjoyed this introductory uh video and the other ones will be a little bit longer because i'm gonna want to explore it all as fast as possible and as thorough as possible but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this introduction and i will see you guys in the next video bye youtube don't be water monsters.